multicultural, and there was a little bit more volume to those services as well. So um, that's also been that's that's been that's been really important too, and it's influenced all of, all of the work. And I really like that direction. So the one thing I want to I guess that's kind of the overview of how I got to where I'm at regarding the work. Um, I kind of would like to see if we could all sort of squeeze into the, the, this room here because this was kind of an interesting experiment that came together um, at the last minute with the folks here at Blue Orange who I am going to flog myself for not thinking at the beginning of this talk. And I want to say that I know I'm stopping for a minute. I'd like to thank Blue Orange and Ken General for all of their help and support. They've been amazing. And this has been such a delightful breath of fresh air and a real change for me this year. So thank you, I didn't want to forget. Thank you, Howard. No, no problem. Anyway, um, so let's, if we can kind of come in here, since we're, it's a big group but not that huge. I wasn't sure if this one was gonna work. And then I went back and forth and talked with friends like Marceline and and Tudor and Bob and stuff about the scale of this particular painting fitting in this room, and I, I very quickly, um, I very quickly warmed up to the idea of this piece kind of overtaking the room, and I, and the minute we got it in here, it all just clicked, you know. And so I kind of like this larger scale of this big piece and the way it works in this really small room. It almost, well, not almost, it kind of takes it takes over the room, you know. Um, this painting in particular seems to be getting a lot of really interesting feedback. And again, one, I like the idea of the duality between the large scale of this and these small works on paper. They, they have a lot in common. You can make out portraiture definitely in the small pieces and certainly make that out in here, although this work tends to go somewhere else. All of the work